pause the video real quick to talk to you guys about Anna Luisa and I want to thank Anna Luisa so much for partnering with me on today's video. I am so excited and grateful to announce that I'm a brand ambassador for Anna Luisa. I'm absolutely in love with this brand. I'm obsessed with them. I've been wearing their jewelry for years and there's a good reason why. I'm really into sustainability. I try and shop as eco-friendly as I can and one reason why I love Anna Luisa is they have the same beliefs and mission that I personally do. They use recycled metal in their jewelry whenever possible and also their jewelry is shipped in recycled cardboard packaging so you can feel good about spending your money on it. I also love that Anna Luisa delivers you the best quality jewelry at a really decent price. I am someone that likes to wear my jewelry every single day. I don't like to take it off. I want to wear it in the shower when I'm sleeping, when I'm working out. It just makes my life easier so I want pieces that are going to stand the test of time and Anna Luisa definitely does that for me and I have three beautiful pieces to share with you guys today. I got these two rings that I'm so obsessed with. I actually stacked them together so it's two separate rings. This first one is a gold band with little gemstones all around it. I absolutely love this ring. I feel like it could pair with so many different pieces of jewelry. I decided to pair it with the same ring but it has the emerald green gemstones all around it. I've been absolutely obsessed with emerald green. I think it's such a beautiful color especially for the fall. I also got these beautiful gold hoops. I am really in love with these. I have wanted a pair of chunky medium sized gold hoops for quite a while but I always was worried about it because my ears are really sensitive. I didn't want hoops that were going to weigh my ears down because that can be really uncomfortable but these are just the most perfect hoops because they are the perfect size. They're thick and chunky but they're not heavy so they don't weigh my ears down at all and I can wear them the entire day really comfortably. Check out the link in my description box below to shop Anna Luisa jewelry to find your perfect fall jewelry staples and don't forget to to use my code Kate Russell 10 for 10% off at checkout. I am so unbelievably embarrassed right now. It's Saturday morning, 12:46, and I am still in bed. Michael and I are just getting up and just getting the day started. I do not know why. I will just sleep forever if you let me. And it's mostly been a problem since moving to Boston, just how tired we both are. And I don't know if it's because during the work week, we get around six hours of sleep, which is suboptimal. And so on the weekend, we are just so exhausted. We will sleep for 12 plus hours. Last night we went to bed at like 11.45. We're just now getting up and I set alarms from 8.30 and I snooze them all the way until about 10 a.m. and then just shut it off completely and we decided to wake up on our own which was 12:45. and honestly this is one of the reasons why i've been struggling to vlog recently because i feel like my life is repetitive boring and embarrassing like i just slept half the day away and then i have like this intense guilt in myself of why did I not get up earlier? And I try to remind myself, you know, the sayings of if my body was resting for this long, it's because it's because my body needed it. And I try and remind myself that, you know, rest and relaxation are only effective if you allow yourself to feel it without any guilt. And it's something that I'm truly working on. So I just, I don't know. I feel like I really wasted the day already, but let's get up. Let's try and make the most of it. I am pretty hungry. I'm gonna make a coffee or a matcha and some food. Let's get this day started. Michael and I just got ready to play pickleball. We decided that's going to be our physical activity of the day, which I think will be really fun. It's something we picked up a couple of months ago and both really enjoy it. It's just a nice, easy sport to play with just the two of us and it's beautiful weather to do that today. I think it's like the high 50s. So put on a little outfit. I'm wearing one of my dad's old sweatshirts. I'm wearing this just Aritzia black t-shirt underneath. Some Lululemon Aligns, Ritzia TNA socks, Adidas sneakers. So we're gonna head over there and play for a little bit and we'll take you guys along.
from playing pickleball, which was really fun. However, when we were at the court, an old woman did yell at me, which I found incredibly unnecessary and it kind of ruined my day, but whatever. I also filmed the pickleball portion of our day for TikTok. I have been posting on TikTok every day and I've been loving it. It's just a really nice creative outlet for me since I've taken a little bit of a break from YouTube because the videos are just like super quick and short and I can show little pieces of my day. Like I will work for a full, you know, 10 to 12 hour day in the hospital. So obviously that's not really great vlog content because I can't film the bulk of my day but then I'll come home in the evening and film of what I make for dinner and it just is more suitable for TikTok than YouTube so I've been posting a lot on there mostly showing a lot of vegan food content what I eat in days make dinner with me make breakfast with me grocery hauls a lot of cleaning and reset videos and just other lifestyle health content stuff like that so if you want to follow me my username is at just your average vegan but the next part of our day, I have to tackle a task that has been weighing on me. I'm going to show you guys my super embarrassingly dirty and messy kitchen. I don't know how it got this bad because just a few days ago, I felt like it was pretty clean. I was keeping up with it pretty well during the work week, but somehow in the last two days, it just all exploded everywhere and I've never seen it so disorganized and I'm really embarrassed. So I thought it would be fun to do a cleaning montage for you guys. Let's roll that right now. Good morning, everybody. It's the next day now. I ended the vlog off a little bit earlier last night because Michael and I just had a little date night and we made some meatball subs, watched a movie, and I filmed all that for TikTok. And it's just a little bit hard to film on my vlog and TikTok at the same time. That was a TikTok moment, so if you want to see what we did last night, it'll be on my TikTok. This morning, we woke up a little bit earlier today, so I'm somewhat proud, but it definitely wasn't as early as I wanted. We woke up at 9.30 and got out of bed at 10, which is an improvement from 12.45. But still, you know, I want to get up a little bit earlier than that, but I'll take the little victories. We just started off our day with some coffee and now we're going to go to the gym to work out. I think I'm going to do legs because I've been craving a workout that makes me sore recently because, you know, yesterday we did pickleball, which was really fun, but... I didn't leave that, you know, gas or anything. And it's been a while since I've done a more challenging workout. So I wanna do legs, it always gets my heart rate up, gets me sweating, gets my muscles sore the next day. So I'm gonna do legs. I am wearing an Outdoor Voices exercise set. These are always my favorite. I feel like I've been talking about these sets for forever, but they just cannot be beat in my opinion. So I'm wearing this red one and just a little outdoor voices quarter zip on top. So we are going to head over to the gym now. I'm not gonna film it because there's a lot of people up there and I just feel really weird filming and I don't wanna get other people in my footage. I just think it's, you know, their personal time to do their own workout and not have to worry about if they're being filmed or not. So I'm just going to have a workout to myself and then I will catch up with you guys after. I think we're gonna go for a little walk around the city, which I'm really excited about because it's now beautiful fall weather in Boston. The leaves are changing, so it's really nice to go on walks outside. I just got back from the gym. The workout was amazing. I felt really good and strong, which has been rare recently. I've been feeling pretty weak and just run down, not having a lot of energy, but it was a really nice leg workout. I'll put on the screen what I did. 
and now I'm gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna take a couple of pictures today. So I wanna, you know, do my hair, a little bit of makeup just to feel more put together. I'm also going to multitask while I do that. I need to clean my engagement ring. I have an emerald cut ring, which just shows every single little smudge on it. So I feel like you have to clean it pretty regularly if you want it to shine and sparkle. So I just have some warm water with dish soap and I'm just going to let it soak in there while I do my hair and my makeup. And then when I'm done, I just scrub it with like a little children's toothbrush very gently and then rinse it with warm water again and it's clean. So that's pretty much all I do, but I'm going to get ready. I'm going to blow dry my hair and then just use my little Revlon brush blow dryer to smooth it out a little bit. And while I do that, I'm going to put some headphones in and watch a YouTube video. It's my favorite thing ever just to watch a YouTube video while getting ready, but when you blow dry your hair, you really just cannot hear anything. So pop in your AirPods and you're good to go. kept it pretty neutral and simple. I've had the same makeup routine for a really long time because I just don't like spending money on new products. I feel like when I was younger in high school, I would always be getting the newest thing, whatever everyone recommended. I would always just be adding new things to my makeup collection. And then I realized that it was just impractical because I hardly ever wear makeup. And so I wasn't really able to use the products as quickly as I was buying them. And so many things went to waste. So I have a really small makeup collection now and I just don't buy new products very often at all. And I put on a really simple outfit. I'm just wearing some Abercrombie baggy boyfriend jeans with brown high top converse, which I love. And this simple gray t-shirt from Aritzia. I absolutely love these. I have a gray one and a black one and I wear them all the time. They're just so comfortable, easy to throw on, really flattering. Got our pictures, so I'm gonna make a quick little lunch. I'm gonna make this vegan spinach and cashew ravioli from Trader Joe's. It's actually really good. I tried it a couple days ago and I really like it. So I'm gonna make that. For sauce, we're gonna do the vegan kale cashew basil pesto, also from Trader Joe's. Really amazing pesto and mix it in with some homemade cashew cream sauce. I'm gonna toss in some beefless ground beef from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's vegan meats are really hit or miss, but this one is really good. It's the best vegan ground beef I've ever tried. Saute a little bit of kale for veggies. Top it off with vegan parm. Why's every wall they make just a eggshell on plaster? Do these old. My has ordered dinner on Postmates. In the meantime, we're gonna play a nice friendly game of ping pong. Michael made us buy this contraption from Target, and I think it was worth it. Let's go. <laughs> Two and oh. Hey everyone, it is the next day now. I'm going to sign off the vlog here because we just have a lot of prep work for the week to do today. We just went grocery shopping. We have to meal prep later tonight. And I wanna get this video edited today because tomorrow I work a 13 hour shift at the hospital and then I work 10 hour shifts the rest of the week. And I just won't have a lot of time to get this video edited. And I really wanna get it up for you guys because I know I haven't posted in a really long time. I'm going to get to editing now. I wanted to remind you guys, check out the link in the description box below for Anna Luisa jewelry. Again, my code is Kate Russell 10 for 10% off everything. I know you guys will find something that you absolutely love and I will see you guys in the next video.